everybody, welcome back in the Cheapo Zone again. Oh, I love being here. The Icovic HT113 for your cheapo pleasure. Let's take a look. Shout out to Icovic, they sent in the HT113 for this review. Shall we begin? What do you get in the box? Well, basically, there you go. Um, of course, we get our standard cheapo test leads. Yeah, nothing to write home about. I know, I know. Uh, they have a cat rating of, and look at that, I don't even see a cat rating on here. Um, there we are, maximum 10 amps, 600 volts, cat two. So yeah, there you go. Tip-wise, they are not bad. Not that sharp, but really, it'll suffice. A little bit tiny, uh, depending on the size of your hands, but uh, overall, good thick gauge wire here. PVC, obviously, and that shroud on the end, yeah, not bad. Now, this is a rebranded multimeter, not the original OEM, but hey, that is not always a bad thing. In this case, you have a nice little product support card here telling you that they're gonna warranty your product for one year so hey oh extended 18 month warranty not bad for a cheapo and as well of course you get that user manual this one is all in english and um suffice to say it has all of the settings now this is not a high-end meter by any means your basic non-auto ranging manual multimeter 2000 counts maximum 600 volts ac dc so uh hey it's cheapo as you can see that is pretty small diminutive in size I'm um, not nearly as big as that big old Habitest HT118A, the uh, cheapo of the year. Many years of running now in the cheapo zone. Great little multimeter, great, not little, great full-size multimeter. But the 113 here, definitely, I think, uh, look-wise, you can see that uh, it has that genealogy in its bones. Always great fit and finish with these HT series of meters. The boot does come off. This one is a little bit more problematic than some. You really gotta pull to get it off, but it does come off eventually. Of course, in the back here, you have the holders for those test shrouds as well. They are new, so they take some breaking in, but anyway, you get the idea, I think. And here is our tilt stand, standing bale. Nice, doesn't flop around or anything else. Powered by two AAA batteries, one Phillips screw, and you are in, baby. And speaking of in, look at that nice brass threaded insert there. Easily pops off, and there is your easy access to the battery well. And I gotta say that selector switch, oh yeah! Look at that, nice clickety click, clackety clack. Hits those ranges with authority. No worries about getting stuck. Perhaps they could have used a nice painted pointer here. But uh, nonetheless, great, great action on the rotary selector switch. Let's take a look at the rotary selector switch starting at the midnight or off position. Volts DC, maximum 600 volts. 1.5 and 9 volt battery testing mode. Current, milliamps DC, up to 200 milliamps. High current, up to 10 amps. Continuity diode. Resistance, up to 20 mega ohm. Finally, volts AC up to 600 Top of the meter, we have our one-touch function. And on the far right, we have our hold. That doubles as a backlight. Bottom of the meter, we have three inputs. Far left, we have the high current 10 amp input. In the middle, we have our common or ground. And on the far right, we have our positive input for volts, resistance, and milliamps. Now, once again, unlike the big brother here on the left, uh, we don't have a bar graph on our display. Um, a little bit smaller, but still if you look at the font, not quite as chunky funky as the HT-118A. Um, I, I like it, it's pretty decent. Now one thing I love, get a load of this. Yeah, it's got a backlight, it's got a backlight. But even better than that, um, it stays on. That's right, the backlight stays on indefinitely until you want to turn it off. Whoa, good job, Icobook. Unlike the Habitest, which just powered down after about a meager 10 to 12 seconds. So, gotta love that always on backlight. Oh yeah. Precision voltage reference time. 5.00 is what we want to see. 5.03 is what we get. Good job. Another great feature for this cheapo is the fact that it's also true RMS. 120 volts AC, spot on. Here we are with that problematic 0.5 of an ohm resistor. How will the Ecovic do? Hey, 
Hey, no problem. Good stuff. And on that resistance cluster as well, 10 ohms. Looking good. Coming in as 10.4. Let's try, finally, take it up. Let's try 100K. A beauty, nice and fast. 99.4K. Now, one of the nice things with the manual ranging meters is the fact that they tend to be faster when they are um, testing, strictly because you are in manual mode, so that auto ranging doesn't have to take place. No slowdown here. Nice and fast. Like it. Next up is diode mode. Now we have our continuity slash diode setting here. Hit that function switch and bada bing, here we are in diode mode. Here we go. Starting off with the standard diode. Oh, nice. Oh, we have that audible as well. Beauty. Oh, very, very nice. Excellent. I'm telling you when it comes to troubleshooting, you cannot beat that audible. Okay, let's start off now with the LED. Starting off with the red LED, it is lit and a forward voltage drop over to the yellow, the same. The green, it is lit. I know it's hard to see with the studio lighting, but we don't get a forward voltage drop. The blue, not a pinata, and the white, no. So in terms of illumination, three out of five in terms of illumination with our forward voltage drop, two out of five. Ah, oh, but dang, it has the audible. Oh. 2.26 volts, output voltage in diode mode. Not bad. Last Three would have been least, better. We though. are going to try continuity. Standard default stock test probes. Put us into continuity mode. Three, two, one. Oh, nice. Nice. Very nice. Wow. Latched fairly loud. I like it. Let's try the probe masters. Oh, wow. Even slightly faster and slightly louder. Beauty. Six to one point four dBA maximum output volume in continuity. Ah, wow! It sounded louder. Weird. Take a quick look at that battery testing feature. What it does is puts a small current load on the battery. Here we are in standard volts DC mode. Uh, let's see what we get for a reading. And right now we're showing around nine point five seven volts. Now, if we go down to our battery test mode, put it into the nine volt. 9.1, so we're still well over the nine mark, telling us that even with that load, the battery is still good. Good stuff. People have asked me over the years, hey Darren, can we see where you do your reviews? Well, of course you can. Uh, it's taken a while to actually get around to doing this for you. I apologize, but anyway, here it is, a snippet at least of the lab slash YouTube review area. A lot of this equipment here is always on uh, the bench, doesn't move. Of course, stuff comes and goes, um, always testing, always getting new products to review. And uh, yeah, in a nutshell, um, <laughs> it's just a quick little snippet. One of my many drawers, we have all sorts of little ootsie goodies. Uh, yeah. Adding as well another area, shortly another eight footer um, to this test bench. Um, so, you know, the magic continues and it's a, a non, uh, you know, never growing entity. So uh, it's always something in the works. Yeah, so in a nutshell, at least, D don't ask. So there you go, in a nutshell, that is part of where the magic happens, and I will show you more as Very time goes on. Current mode right now, 1.44 amps, look at that beauty. All right, let's just bring it up a little bit, shall we? I wanna see if we have an audible alarm when we get into the danger zone. And we do, good stuff. So over 10 amps, we have that nice high current alarm letting you know, uh, caution. Already tear down time. Quick look at the internals of the HT113. Uh, starting off with the opposite side. No shielding. Hey, no surprise. Uh, those are the contacts for the battery. Makes a contact with the springs over here, giving us our three volts on the PCB. Um, good quality plastics, actually. A little bit of blast protection here. Um, overall, not too shabby. Alrighty. The main piece de resistance, look at that. So at the bottom we have our standard um, split variety jacks. Um, soldered on there pretty well, I have to say. Yeah, nice big chunks of solder as you can see. Um, loving it, loving it. Two ceramic fuses. 
On the milliamp side, it's 250 volt, 200 milliamp. High current is 10 amp, 250 volts. Has some nice spark gap protection as well over here. So generally speaking, um, they've done a really nice job here on the PCB. Main IC is cobbed. There is our speaker. Um, those are the uh, positive negative for the backlight. Um, but overall clean, pretty good looking. Here's the fab date, version 2.0, looks like April 14th, 2022, so uh, released this year. Let's take a closer look inside. Reverse side of the PCB here, we have that zebra strip, uh, elastomer for the display that makes contact with the top of the PCB over here. And soft touch buttons and one, two, three, four, five, six rotary track pads. And of course, this one has the springs and the balls. So uh, mechanical style, which I do prefer, just has a better overall tactile feel, tactile feel, I believe. But uh, there you go, so not too shabby. On the reverse side, look at that, look at that. We have some input protection here, two PTCs, um, and that is on the voltage side of things. Once again, you can see the really good tension to detail with the soldering of those input jacks. So I gotta say, hey man, for a cheapo, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Okay, gonna put it back together, come back with my closing thoughts. Closing thoughts on Ikovic HT113. I like it, I really like it. This is one awesome little multimeter. Manual ranging, gets the job done, fast, accurate, and cheap. About 20 bucks Canadian. Not much bad to say about this multimeter. Uh, in diode mode, yeah, it's too bad it just didn't light them all up. But you know what? We have that audible in the diode mode and that is a huge bonus for technicians. And this thing is pocketable, it's portable, it's well made. It, it's, it's just, you know, it's a, it's a good little multimeter. Now, non-auto ranging fans uh, are gonna rejoice, but if you're into the auto rangers, you're definitely gonna wanna pass it by because of course it is manual ranging only. That being said, only thing that's missing to me is that capacitance mode, but it's really not that big of a deal. The Icovic. HT113 gets a solid four out of five stars. Hey, good job, people. You did a great little job on this meter. Thanks for watching this review, everybody. To the next one, keep on testing.